You ready? Turn that shit on. I knew we wasn't rolling. All right, and welcome back to the black market. You know what that bell means? That means there's some money on the flow, but let's go get some more. Let's get it. And today, we got a very special guest with us today. None other than Moraki Lato. I'm gonna clap for myself. That sounds like a drink. For real? It yeah. do, I guess. It do. You might make that a Might make it a little something. Man. Little something shake with that. Welcome to the black market. Thank you so much for having me, for real. I appreciate that you even uh, have a platform like this. For real, it's important. I'm, yeah. from, I'm from here. I'm from Atlanta. I mean, some people say, you know, the Atlanta rules. I'm yeah, from yeah, yeah. Decatur, but, you know. Okay, people... Decatur. You could be from Atlanta. Yeah, it's a lot of rules, but I'm, I'm going to say Atlanta. The shop is in East Atlanta. It's been there since I was, like, three as far as the coffee shop, so I'm going to say Atlanta. So, yeah. Tell them about the coffee shop. Man, the coffee shop. So, Village Coffee House, it's in Little Five Points. Um, it's been there. I think we finna hit... We already hit 25 years, so it's gonna, it's gonna hit 26 years. That's what's up. Black women owned, uh, for real, it's my mom and my auntie my whole life. Just them, literally. Uh, we used to have a little extras when they would go out of town, but it's just them locked in. And then I started go working there like 2016, then I became part owner like 2018. Okay. So I was only like what 21. What made you jump into the family business? Really, what's crazy was I started, so I went to school and stuff for produ production and music and stuff like that. So I always, like, I make beats and stuff. And okay. Yeah, yeah, You'll never meet women that say that, yeah, I meet, I make beats. Oh, yeah, I did that when really? I got into that when I was, like, 18. I heard er all the jokes and all the whatever, because it was Fellas, so what crazy. what if women started approaching you like that? Like, yeah, I'm a producer, I make beats. I was like, telling people that when up. I was only, like, 18, 19, so that made it even more, like... But I went to school for it. I got I got the credentials and everything. That's um, what's up. I went to SAE. That's here in the city. Um, anyway, and then I graduated from Full Sail. But yeah, during that time, really what's crazy was the only reason that I started working there or wanted to become owner was my mom and aunt. They had to leave at the same time. Mm. They had to go to Africa. I'm Ethiopian, so they had to go to Me Ethiopia. Too. I've been adopted. By okay, <laughs> I can see it. I can see yeah. how resemble for sure. But um, yeah, they had to go to Ethiopia for like two months. And we ain't really had nobody. And they was like, yo, you got to learn all this in like five days, like everything on the menu. And I was like, it was summertime. I had school was out. So I learned everything. Then I was just there so much by myself. My dad would come in and help a little bit. And I was like, man, I, I got a lot I want to do here. Like I was just, I was in there. Right. So then I was like, man, they getting older. I'm going to have to, I got to help. Like, so I started trying to do events with my music and like getting people who I work with, artists having events there. So that's how I became a part of the family business. And I just, it's my life. I've been there since I was three. Right. So I was just thinking, man, when they done, I don't want it to go away. So that's what happened with the coffee shop. Yeah, I've been locked in there for like ever. But in around December, I opened what's called Vintage Village Shop. So the coffee shop is called Village Coffee House. Then Vintage Village, because I grew up in Little Five Points, I, um, you know, that whole area is real thrift heavy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get... Some one of one pieces. Yeah, it's just like weird people, you know, eclectic type of vibes. And I, I used to be out there every Monday. Yeah, that's because you was doing the star bar thing. Yeah, so yeah, they still, you, they, you know, they still do yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. My homies and shit still be yeah, hosting. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that's so I'll funny. pop up once a year. That's so funny. And he was part of. He was in a video at the coffee shop, so he was in before COVID. We was just talking about that, so that was really cool. But. Yeah, I was just collecting so much stuff since I was younger because I grew up there going around the shops. And then when I went to New York one day, I seen a lot of vintage, like it's so heavy out there in LA. Like yeah. it was, I was like, I asked some owners, I was like, y'all y'all making real good money doing this? They was like, hell yeah. Yeah, some people, that's their primary uh, choice. They go they go vintage first. They don't buy nothing. That's new. where I'm. It's a whole community. Yeah, and like I'm, that. That, that's my that's my. And you know what right else? Now. This some game that I got put up on, like um, from just being online. You know what's a num like a big seller that has a real niche market? You remember all the fake Gucci and like fake designer shit? Oh, that's uh, yeah. They got it's like big. it's people online who like that's all the fuck I think they do. I've seen they it. buy like the knockoff shit from that's back in the day. That shit got a whole that's crazy. market now. Like, yeah, I don't know nothing about that. That sounds like that's gonna make certain people mad. If if it's if already, don't know it's about already it. the people who already made it, they probably already <laughs> yeah. been through that shit. That's what's up though. Hey man, yeah. it's a market ready thing. If if you getting it off, get it off. Hell yeah. So what made you jump over there and go get some of that money? Man. Then you got them walking from the, the shop exactly. to the coffee shop. Though, yeah. It was like a light bulb, I swear to God. When I was talking to this dude, this guy from Italy, I remember. He was, I was just asking him about like how much he was making and stuff like that. 
And, you know, even New York, they yeah. hustle different. Japan, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. And in L.A. I just got yeah, back from yeah. L.A. I got a lot of stuff from there. It's heavy out there, too. So when I was talking to them, I'm like, it was like a light bulb. I'm like, bro, I grew up in Little Five Points. What am I doing? Well, And I got all this stuff that I could sell. And the coffee shop is called Village Coffee House. I was like, Vintage Village. Like, it happened right there. Yeah. And it's because it's deep to me. This is my mom and my auntie. Like, it's, it really takes a village. Like, that's how, that's how I came up with the whole name. And I was like, damn. I'm finna do that. So I came back to, to, to the city. I came back to Atlanta. Yeah. I got all my stuff, because I got a lot of stuff. And I'm like, man, I'm not finna wear all this. I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I need to get this off. This is some, I wore best dress when I was in school. You know what I'm saying? I got to bless the people with the, with, the with, the, with the sauce, with the drip. So that's really what I've been doing. Like, I just, I love it. I love finding stuff. It's, it's my art to me, because yeah. it is one of one. Like, this vintage Chanel from, like, um, like 60s or 70s. And you ain't even bring me nothing, though, bro. Yeah, I got women right now. Look, we're going to lock in. I'm gonna this get vintage some Chanel? Yeah, look at the bottom. You see where it says Chanel? Okay. From a long time ago. You, you can, can see that. find these? I be going, it's a treasure hunt. You don't want to tell, I know you're going to see if you go up the plug. That's like a little recipe to, for their special pie. I can't, <laughs> you can't give them everything. Yeah. But I, you, I can give y'all me. Y'all can come up. shop with the kid. <laughs> what, are you like, are y'all online? Yeah, go look so. Up? I'm online. Um, Instagram is Vintage Village Shop. The way that I got it now, so it's in the coffee shop. I like set up a little nook, little area, and um, I got like different pieces. But the the website is VintageVillageShop.co. So I got it for pickup. You see something you like online? Pick up free. You know what I'm saying? I deliver all over. So yeah, y'all can come pick up whatever all the drip that you see online. Get a drip coffee. You know what I'm saying? Do what everything you looking for? Because we got a whole network. Somebody might have a few pieces they trying off. You got anything on your list that you searching out right now? I don't, I, man, the way I be looking, I I just see something and I'll take it. So whatever you could, people could dump something on me. I, I really look at it like a treasure hunt, like, yes, nah, yes, nah. This could do something. But and everything I have is not designer, too. Like, I got regular stuff, like low prices, just something that I see, like, damn, that look cool. Yeah. I don't think I could find another one of those, just vintage tees with, like, different stuff. Like, even these boots I just got from L.A., they talking about this is, like, one of one, whatever it's okay. called, something like a Aloha, Aloha or something like that. They go for a good amount, but I got them for the low, like. And that's what it's like. It's really a treasure hunt. It's like art. It's like collecting art. Um, ASAP Rocky, that's somebody I looked at who was really into doing this. He really like always wants one of one pieces. In New York, that is heavy out there. These vintage shops. So, you know, growing up in Little Five Points, I ain't even realized like, damn, I'm really locked in on this, and yeah. I need to you know, put more energy into it. So yeah, we there. I I do different pop-ups around the city too. So anytime like there's different pop-ups. I just did one Sunday called Fem Energy Flea. It was a uh, with my friends who own something called Pussy Power. Okay, so, what is yeah. that? Hey, I know the name Shout out to Pussy Power. What is that? It's just women on just like they do events. They yeah. do a lot for women in the community. So they had an event called Fam Energy Flea. So I was there with my stuff, selling stuff. Um, it's good for exposure. It's good for just even getting people to see what I got going on. So yeah, Little Five Points, Atlanta. That's where we at. Get get the get the drip. What's the, y'all got social media and all that? Yes, yeah, so my, for, Vil, for Vintage Village is Vil, Vintage Village Shop. That's the Instagram. I call it VVS, because that's the acronym. Okay. It's hard, I know it's hard, it's fire. <laughs> but uh, and then Village Coffee House Little Five. That's the that's the coffee shop. So I run both of those. Um, cause my mom and them they they on online like that. They don't even know what I really be doing on there. They just be like, take a cute little. Some picture. people came. <laughs> yeah, like they, bro. It's so funny to see them though, cause they've been in that crazy area yeah. for twenty five years, twenty six years. I'm so, sure they seen some wild shit. Man, they done there. seen the craziest stuff, and it's so funny cause it don't phase them like. It don't, sometimes, see, I'm fairly, I grew up in there, but still when the people, they crazy, like they be tripping around there sometimes. Absolutely. But my mom, they just like, yeah, the other day, man, I just went out there, had to run out with a broom. They just talk like that's regular. I'm like, yo, la older ladies, like y'all age is not doing that at their job. And if you don't know about Little Five Points, it <laughs> is the it's, most eclectic area in Atlanta. You might see a motherfucker dressed like a whole vampire. Makeup and everything, like movie extras, yeah. just walking around, it's, it's, drinking coffee. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And like my parents, you know what I'm saying? My mom and my auntie, they both like my mom and me, but uh, you know, they grew up in Africa, so that makes it 10 times funnier because it's just like they just so used to these weird like people and then like they interact with each other and they all cool. They love them. Oh, don't ever, if you ever come to the coffee shop, but like when they went to Africa for yeah. a minute, they bet. 
Oh, yeah, they definitely back. This was a minute ago. Yeah, when they was gone, people was coming up, where they at? Where, where your mom? I'm like, yo, that's my mom. They good. They coming back. Like, they was like, who, what, what you, you, you the only one here now? They not here no more? Because they love them so much. They take yeah. care of the, of the community. Yeah, people love our culture. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm just saying that because no. I've been adopted by the <laughs> Africans. No. Helen told me. Facts. Helen, Helen's mom actually is the one who, oh, right. no, who convinced I, me. I'm sure. Yeah. My mom would probably do the same. I promise. That's how they are. That's that's <laughs> too funny. But yeah, they um, yeah, we they back. They def, they've been back for a minute, and uh, the people there love them. I mean, the community is really interesting. But the since we've been there so long, they don't let nobody bother us. Cause you know we women own, and it'd be weird people around. Yeah. If they even see that we got a weird look on our face, the just the the men that's around, they don't let nobody mess with us. Like it's. It's a real, it's a real community. Like, please come out. Like, it's yeah. You gotta have your resident crazy dude to scare off all the yeah. real. Oh crazy. yeah, we got a lot of them. Yeah, we got a lot of them. We locked in for real. So I bet y'all selling a lot of coffee too, cause them motherfuckers don't go to sleep. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. And you know, we be helping a lot of them out. So like sometimes, especially when it's hot, they just be. I don't know. Especially, I mean, really when it's cold, like during the winter, man, we be giving so many people so much free coffee. Yeah. Cause we be feeling, man. We be feeling bad. We done seen some of these people for years. Yeah. You know, they don't go nowhere else, so they be spoiled. They be coming in three, four times. Like, all right, now nah. you gotta, you, you get a little, but you can't keep coming back for that much. Drop the address so they can pull yeah, up. Yeah, and our address is legendary. It's four twenty. Okay, I remember it. Exactly, you can't forget that. Four twenty Seminole Ave. It's it's right next. To, if you if you a little five points, right next to uh, clothing warehouse. Right across from like Abadabas, by Vortex, all of that. 420 Seminole Ave. We there. We only close on Tuesdays. We open every other day. Please follow us. Vintage Village Shop. Village Coffee House Little Five. Mine is Rocky Lotto on Instagram. R A K I L O T T O. Y'all can see what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's what I got. Vintage Village Shop, Village Coffee House. Hey, I appreciate you stopping I appreciate through here you. and blessing the black market. And let me ring the bell one more time. Ahead. The black market is open. Rocky Lotto, hey, we out of here. That was fire. That's dope.